The design for Dust um, came from the house. So uh, the house is a really um, important character in the script in the way it um, evolves and uh, the dust that settles there. So the initial process was focusing on the house um, and then it was also focusing on the owner of the house who is Nelly, um, who's played by Kenny in the show. Um, so that was the starting point um, and it was finding a way to get the whole house on stage without building the entire house on stage. So uh, to start the design process, I'd like to surround myself with everything I can. So I get loads of inspiration in. Um, for this, I got a lot of um, inspiration from other artists like um, Alexander Calder and his kind of hanging sculptures. Um, and uh, I'll read the script, I'll talk to uh, Chris, the director, and um, from that kind of process, ideas start to form. I'll do some sketches, um, I'll then pitch that to the director, um, and then um, for this project, I then built a model box. We again talked about that, how would that work as part of the show and in action, and then I built, rebuilt the model box, and then kind of arrived finally at this. The process of handing over the set is really exciting. Um, I don't build sets to just be in the background. I like that sets are kind of active in a show. So without them being handed over to the director and the actors, they don't get to live. So it's almost like they're being born when they go into the rehearsal space and we kind of work out how they can work and how they breathe, how they live and how they evolve through the show. So it's exciting. I'm not precious. I, uh, yeah, I can, um, I can, happily drop things or cut things or rework things if need be. Yeah. So I make and I design uh, sets um, and I, I usually work like that. I very rarely design a set that I'm not going to make and my designer self has a lot of trust in my maker self that it will make it work. So as I'm designing um, I very much do design with uh, the idea in the back of my mind of how I'm going to make it. I never design something and then try and work out how to make it just because I don't want to ever get in a position where I can't make it. Um, so, and I think it also opens up, because I know, I know a lot about materials and how materials work, so actually that opens up to me to be able to design something around materials and what materials I'm going to use as well. Um, having said that, there's always a time where when I'm making it, I am kind of cursing my past self and um, why did I have to make it so complicated or but that that's that's just part of the process. Yeah so the puppet in the show, um, a little titch, the design process of a puppet starts with me, it starts with what does this puppet need to do? So it's how many actors are manipulating it, what does it need to do? And from that you uh, start to build a design, whether it needs legs, whether it can have legs, whether it um, how articulated, how, what, where are the mechanisms and stuff like that. Um, with this it was quite a simple um, puppet because um, there's only one actor so we couldn't really have the legs articulated um, if we're having the head articulated by one actor um, so we, we didn't have legs in the puppet. Um, so if I, I get her. So she, she has a con kind of control rod um, and uh, on the back and then a hand as well. Um, but she, she's quite simple. Um, I kind of usually start with the head actually, kind of design the head um, and then the body and the hand follows. Um, and then I give uh, the puppet um, as the kind of bones and uh, muscle and then our, my uh, costume designer, um, Katie Underhay, designs the costumes or I send over what I need and she sews them all together. My advice to be, if somebody wants to be a theatre designer, um, is uh, sketch or find a way to communicate your ideas. I'm not the most confident drawer, but um, I model box, I collage, I do eventually do sketches, scan things in. So find a way to communicate your ideas really effectively because um, that will really help you. Uh, a set is uh, it, always in action. It's, it's a thing that isn't just in the background. So think about how it's going to work from scene to scene um, and how it can change and evolve with the play. Also, uh, I would just get involved with anything you can. So, um, uh, you know, if there's assistant roles or uh, volunteering, just do anything you can just to build, get as much experience as you can, because um, the more experience you have, the more you'll know. Thank you.